Hello everybody, this is the Pickaxe of Diamonds, and welcome back to my Minecraft survival world. Now, it's been a while since we've done one of these episodes since... Well, I've been thinking about whether I should do all my Enderman kills off-screen since... Well, so you don't have to watch me waiting for Enderman all the time. And I've decided that for at least one night I'll just charge out there with the best stuff I've got and go look for Enderman. Now, let's see what I've got. Now, let that, let's see how much time is left in this night. Okay, so it's pretty much almost daytime. So, not much time that... Not much time left. I'm just going to sleep. Now, one decision we'll have to make is, what can we do today before we go out fighting Endermen? Well, I figure since we have two stacks of redstone, we might as well craft our redstone into redstone blocks, just like we crafted our coal into coal blocks. And do the same with lapis. It's interesting that for each of these ores, I have some redstone blocks and one of the, just the regular ore. Oh, and I'm not going to do it for iron because well, because I don't have enough iron to make a good use of that. I would have to have over a, a stack, and if I crafted it with the iron, then I would just have a stack, well not a whole stack, but three iron blocks here, and seven iron ingots here, which would take up more space than the iron is already taking up. Sorry if that was a bit too in-depth. And by the way, I could put my weed with my other weed. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Do I have any sugar cane in here that could go in the other chest? Well, it doesn't look like it. Well, let's take some torches. Let's run out. I think we can collect this wheat now. There we go. I'm going to be careful not to step on, or jump on, the seeds. Yeah, that should be good. I wonder why this one is the only one that hasn't grown at all. Maybe I just planted it recently. Anyway, let's collect some sugar cane. Now I've got 12 more sugar cane, which is enough to make 12 more paper and 4 more books. For a grand total of 2 more bookshelves, I think. Oh, and you know what I should do? I should light up this area so that the crops can grow at night. I'm going to... going to look at the light level to see where mobs can spawn. And one final torch here. That should be good. Now let's go back up and put our torches in the chest and Crafts a new paper and books. We do that a lot, don't we? Now paper crafted like this. 
12 paper and four leather. Now we got six books. We can craft some more bookshelves. Two more bookshelves for our enchantment table. Now, if I'm correct, we only need one more to make it to the maximum level. And we need three books for that. And we've got just enough leather for that, too. So, let's put our stuff back in our chest, like our wheat and our seeds. How close to nighttime is it, by the way? Okay, it's about halfway there. I'm going to go out there and kill just one more cow. Get just one more level. I mean, just one more leather. And I'll bring my map. Ow. There's a cow. That killed him fast. Now let's go back. Well, that did a lot of damage, but I'm okay. I don't have a spot for raw beef, so I might as well put it in here. And put my leather in there. And my map in here. How close to nighttime are we now? Well, it seems it's quite close. Maybe only a few more minutes left. So what should we do until then? Well, I think we need a total of nine sugar cane. get enough to make one more bookshelf. So we'll just wait until that much sugar cane is grown. I'm not going to do that right now. So when we go out there, I'll just bring my diamond sword, my iron pickaxe, and my armor. I could probably combine my helmets. That's that makes for a better helmet. And now I'm going to craft a new backup helmet. You know, I'm just going to wear it instead and make it not a backup. Now, what else can I do? I'm gonna take off my chest plate, or my tunic, and put on my best armor. Because when you kill an Enderman, you're gonna want to have your best armor. And possibly, your best bow. I'm not gonna need a bow for fighting Enderman, though. Because when you shoot an Enderman, they just teleport away. Well, I suppose we could head out, charge around, but 
I should probably bring my map in case I, I go far away from here. And if you're worried that uh, I'll die and lose all my stuff, then I might just go and collect it. Or in the worst case scenario, I could resort to a backup world. Let's go out. I think a, a plane's biome would be most effective. I should have brought some food. I'm just going to go out and get my food. I should never leave home without my food. My hunger is already starting to go down. Let's grab all this steak. It's probably too much, but better safe than sorry. Let me make sure I'm on easy difficulty. Yes, I am. And not peaceful. So that Endermen can spawn. I can turn that off now. So I might want to have a high vantage point while looking for mobs. Like from here. You know, let's, let's look at my map and go a little bit in this direction. You know, I don't have a really big map. Is that a baby zombie? Oh, I hate those guys. And in case you didn't know, there are baby zombies in 1.6. They can spawn naturally and not just in adventure maps. Baby zombie with an iron sword. Wow. Let's try going this way. Very careful. It's not even let it letting me attack it. It's not even attacking. Yes, I got its ender pearl. Now I could wait for another one to spawn. You know what? I really don't want to lose this ender pearl. I'm gonna go back home. Now, 
just so you know, I'm I'm kind of worried that I'll die with this Ender Pearl. I mean, it's pretty precious, almost as precious as like diamonds. In fact, maybe it's even even more precious than a diamond in that you can't win the game without it because you can craft an Eye of Ender with it. I notice it's raining right now. That means that any Enderman, when they're hit by rain, will die. Or teleport into shelter, which in, in this case might be my house. So I better watch out for Enderman. Better watch out, better not cry, even though an Enderman might come by. <laughs> Hope that reached the cactus. Notice I have 30 levels of experience right now. One more bookshelf and I can enchant either a level 30 sword or a level 30 pickaxe. Or even a level 30 axe if I wanted to, but why would I? Let's look out for Enderman from here. You know, the bad thing about a rainstorm is you can't see where the sun or the moon is. And another bad thing about a rainstorm is when it becomes day, the undead mobs, zombies, and skeletons don't burn in daylight because the rain is, well, dousing them. One thing you can do to counteract a thunderstorm, though, is sleep. Because when you wake up after sleeping from a bed, then it will be daytime, and the rain will stop. And the rain might not stop if I just wait. So, I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm just going to sleep instead of going out to look for more Endermen. Good night. I'll see you in the morning, which is just in a few seconds. I thought the rain would stop. Oh no, wait. It's clearing up. We're good. Well, wow, that was a pretty exciting day with the Enderman fight. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.